Hello, and welcome to the Schedule Planner tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to access the Schedule Planner, find classes, build your ideal schedule, register for classes, and modify your registration. The images in this tutorial reflect a desktop view. If you are accessing the Schedule Planner from your mobile device, all of the functionality will be the same, but certain screens will look different and additional steps may be required to complete a particular process. The Student Schedule Planner is accessed through your OASIS account. To reach the Schedule Planner, you will click on Student, then Registration, as indicated by the red boxes on your screen. Once in the Registration page, you will select the Schedule Planner link. You will then select the upcoming school term and hit Submit. Summer and Fall registration occurs at the same time, therefore it is important to select the term you wish to add classes to. The Schedule Planner defaults to the Tampa campus. Unless you have spoken with your advisor about taking courses through one of the other campuses, you should not change this default. Once in the Schedule Planner, note the various search options at the top of this page that will help you narrow down class sections and build your ideal schedule. For example, you could filter by course status. This allows you to look for only open classes, open and full classes, or open and full with a waitlist option. Keep in mind, not all classes offer a waitlist and you cannot register for a full course. Only look for full courses if you need a particular class and want to watch for a seat to open during drop ad week. You can also filter by instruction mode, choosing between classroom, hybrid, primarily online, fully online, or simply looking for all modes at the same time. Click on the Add Courses button to begin building your schedule. This will bring you to the Add Courses page, which defaults to a search by subject and course number. Use the drop-down menu to find specific courses in this page. You can also search by course attributes to find and add courses that fulfill your general education requirements by selecting Search by Section Category. You can search for courses that fulfill the general education core requirements, USF TFKL requirements for those of you who entered USF prior to summer 2018, or simply USF T requirements for those of you who entered USF during or after the summer of 2018. You will also see requirements for the Sarasota Manatee and St. Pete campuses indicated by USF SM and USF SP respectively. You should not search for these requirements. When you have selected the desired attribute, only those courses that fulfill this requirement will be visible. The third option is to use the Degree Works tab. When you select this option, any courses you or your advisor have entered into your Active Degree Works Planner will be visible and ready to add. If you've only added generic placeholders instead of specific course numbers, no plan will populate. A fourth option allows you to search through all the courses a particular department is offering. You can filter these courses by subject prefix to narrow your options further. This is an excellent option for finding electives outside of your major or identifying major courses when you have multiple options for one requirement. Finally, you can search for courses by instructor. If you have taken a course with an instructor you built rapport with, this is a great opportunity to find other courses they are teaching. A word of caution. Many students use outside recommendations from websites like Rate My Professor to choose between instructors. As with any review process, this method is deeply flawed. Anyone can post a review, regardless of whether they actually took the course, and making decisions based on anonymous recommendations can result in missing out on excellent educational opportunities. We recommend that you choose classes based on how they benefit you academically and professionally. Once you have found courses you would like to take, click on the Add Course button. This will add your classes to the desired course list on the right-hand side of the screen. You can add as many classes as you want to the desired courses list. Once you have the classes you want, hit the Done button to return to the Schedule Planner main page. Your desired courses will now be listed on your screen. Be sure to check the boxes only for courses you want to include in specific schedule searches. Use the Options button next to each class to see all of the sections available for the course. From this page, you can select or unselect sections of the course to narrow your search based on permit requirements, 
course times, and professors. Selecting the I button will expand this information and show you how many seats remain in a particular section. You can also add breaks to your schedule from the main Schedule Planner page by using the Add Break button on the right-hand side of the screen. This will allow you to block days and times when you are not available or do not want to be in class. You may want to review the schedules without breaks first to ensure you are not blocking the only available time for a class. Once you are ready to populate semester schedules, hit the Generate Schedules button. You can compare up to four schedules by selecting the box next to that schedule and hitting the Compare button. This will populate the following example screen. You can then select the option you like best by selecting to open that schedule. This will bring you to the page designated for that schedule where you can review the courses together in more detail. On this page, you can also see how many seats are in a class. If a course is closed, the seats will show as a red box with a zero in it. Students are unable to register for closed sections, so you should select a different section of this course. Be sure to check for any class restrictions that you may not meet, such as prerequisites, permits, etc., as this will result in an enrollment error when you attempt to register for these classes later. You can then continue to scroll through your other schedule options. As you review schedules, use the lock feature to select a specific section of a course. Locking a particular section will filter your results to only show schedules that include this section. When you find a particular schedule that you like, you can favorite and name it. This will allow you to continue searching while giving you the option to return to a specific schedule whenever you'd like. Once you decide that one of the schedule options is best suited for your upcoming semester, you will select the Send to Shopping Cart button at the top of your screen. This will bring you back to Oasis, to your registration card, so that you can register for your courses. Your registration card will look something like the image on your screen. Note the section full message next to Film and Culture. Should you attempt to register for a set of classes that includes a full section, that particular section will not be included. You must select the Register button to register for the classes. If you do not hit the Register button, you will not be enrolled in your course selections. Courses in your registration cart do not reserve your seat in the class until you hit Register. If you attempt to register in courses before your assigned registration time, while you have registration holds, or for courses you are not authorized to take, do not meet the prerequisites for, etc., you will receive an error message detailing why your registration did not process. You will need to resolve the indicated issue prior to completing registration. One common error message you are likely to encounter will be an indication that your session has timed out. If this happens, you can simply log back into OASIS and proceed directly to your Schedule Planner registration cart to finish registering. Once you have successfully registered, you can confirm your registration through the Week at a Glance tab in OASIS. If you need to alter your registration after this point, you will need to change your selections on the home screen of the Schedule Planner. The default setting will select all of the courses in your desired course list, and the ones in which you are enrolled. To modify your schedule, deselect courses in your current schedule that you intend to remove. You can then generate new schedules that include courses you will keep and new options listed in your desired course list. If you do not deselect courses in your current schedule, they will interfere with new course searches. Good luck with your upcoming semester.